good morning students now we are continuing the class on adjective before that let me revise or synthesize what we learned yesterday now the lesson the lesson adjective in your grammar our book page number 28 the first page think exercise explains the definition adjective describe or qualify the noun okay that's the definition now next page 29 we are talking about six types of adjectives what are those adjective of quality quantity number these three we learned yesterday i'll brief them also today and today we'll see the rest three okay now what is the adjective of quality it gives the opinion okay what kind answers for the question of what kind is the adjective of quality next comes the adjective of quantity how much okay this not necessarily be numerical the adjective of number is there so here the words like little much some are used they are mostly uncountable Okay. quantity can be counted but if it is counted it will come under the adjective of number now water cannot be counted just say the quantity adjective of quantity then third comes the adjective of number uh, there's got a few classifications remain the more so to you so as the name goes number 1 2 3 or first second third is the adjective of number then the another form of adjective of number is definite and indefinite adjective numeral adjectives okay mostly some of these words like some much are coming under indefinite and under this definite 1 2 3 okay we have got one type of distributive numeral adjective that distributes the group each one everyone okay mostly a singular expression is done this is in brief the theoretical explanation of what we learned yesterday okay exercise you do i gave some examples yesterday now we are coming to the fourth one that is demonstrative adjective in your book page number 32 take them when you talk about the pronoun you saw demonstrative pronouns these that these those singular and plural so these words are used and these words are used just before the noun to qualify the noun so they are known as demonstrative adjective okay so simple thing to know demonstrative adjective is it will come just before the noun there will be no verb or be verb in between okay and they will qualify that noun okay so understand this simple theory for demonstrative pronoun similar principle is used also for possessive adjective okay you have already possessive nouns eh? possessive pronouns here in the book is given 33 below 
mine, yours, his, hers, his, ours, theirs. So, just above them, mm -hmm. you got a possessive adjective, my, your, his, not only the same words, except one or two, okay. So, these also I have given the kinds of pronoun. If you listen to the class and the short note I gave you, I have made a list of possessive adjectives. Nowhere in your books it is given. But here, as they are talking about possessive adjective, they are given here. So just note them. There is a slight difference. The pronoun as possessive will come to replace the noun. But whereas the possessive adjective will come to qualify the noun. Okay, that's a small difference. So we shall see one example here. Now you see on top the box learn. Leave it, it's my pen. Okay. So their bungalow looks beautiful. Okay. Now it is my pen there the word my comes just before the noun pen it qualifies the noun so my becomes possessive adjective their bungalow bungalow is the noun whose bungalow their bungalow qualifies the bungalow so that is also possessive adjective so it's not only showing the belonging but qualifies the noun very good understand this simple theory and you can do the exercise in the same page exercise number one d group see yours answer is wrong just your answer so answer is the noun your is the pronoun possessive form so it qualifies the answer so your answer so you can correct and complete the other exercises the last one but not the least one interrogative adjectives for all these demonstrative possessive and interrogative adjectives the adjective form comes just before the noun simple the precedes the noun and qualifies the noun these are two simple theory okay remember them and uh, do the exercise and interrogative you know, I in explain they are question words uh, they do not come to stand in the place of noun then it becomes pronoun okay that's a different but whereas when it's say adjective interrogative object it qualifies the noun so not stands in the place of the noun but it qualifies the noun because adjective means quality remember that simple theory and you'll be able to do all the exercises and uh, Exercise E is a same interrogative adjective. See page number 35. The first question, whose name is Sapna? The name already is given, but name, whose name? Just before the noun comes the question word, interrogative word. So that qualifies the noun. It's interrogative adjective. Okay. Whereas in the second one, what is the name? Okay. Let's say B will be in between. So it is standing in the place of noun, replacing the noun. So it is possessive pronoun. So I hope you understand. Simple difference. You listen to the video and read to the exercise. Things will be very clear to you. No tension, relax, cool. Be fresh when you learn this grammar. If you are tired, sleepy, don't do this. Okay, you read some math. You can read complex and stories. Okay, all the best for you. Now, at the end of this lesson, they are giving a new subtopic other than the kinds of noun. That is the order of the quality. When there are many qualities talked about a noun, what order we should follow? This is already set in the book, okay? Just see the page number 36. Opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose, now, okay? At the end comes a now. Now, for easy 
understanding and practice just number them as it is given opinion one you see in this book it will be seen all the time in this book you got this line of adjectives they are of different kind so just number the 1 2 3 then when the exercise is given uh, for example on the top you see okay one example choose the right answer they have given first example you see i live in a beautiful big modern house okay beautiful big modern house all speak up the house so we should come first we should come second you just see the list here in the chart you see beautiful it talks about the opinion that's number one right second the big it talks about the size okay number two should come in the second place then modern it talks about the age modern age old age okay so age three one two three it's in the right order tick it okay just check the order here and if this order is followed it's right and in the followed exercise f is given the other way mixed so you to arrange them to arrange them without any difficulty you just number them for example you see the first one in f exercise wooden blue tiny english clock now wooden what does it is a material what's the number here on the chart above you have marked 7 you should mark the number okay 7 so you put the 7 then blue is color what's the order there on top five okay then tiny what is the order tiny is shape or size so size is what number two so write two there then english it's like british or european indian english it's the origin that's coming in number six so write the number then in the order numerical order right two first five second six next the last seven so it is tiny blue english wooden clock that should be order okay so you just it's like mathematics you number the you already numbered that the number the what is wrong one then according to the serial order you rewrite Okay. very easy exercise if you understand and the last exercise you can use any quality so it can come under any kind of adjective okay so students all the best if you want i just do one example here the new postman delivered our letters so use relevant adjective you instead of say new postman if you say like wooden postman doesn't sound mm. postman is a human being say new postman old postman something like that now let us it's a post letter post letter inland letter or something you can say beautiful wonderful they are all same it's no beautiful letter wonderful inland letter inside maybe something beautiful is written so our letter my letter his letter inland letter i hope you know this letters because in modern era now sms emails are the hardly any postal services are made but uh, this are all knowledge you got to your knowledge history okay recent history uh, if you don't listen from people you have to learn from books okay so english does not only teach you grammar it gives you knowledge thank you all the best